Hello my loves and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be my makeup routine. Ignore my hair, it's just in a heatless curler. It's been kind of requested a few times, so today I'm just going to show you guys my makeup routine. Sometimes first going with a thick cream on my face. I have cut the top off this to get the last little bits, but it's just from Nivea, so it's not expensive. It's just because my face responds a lot better with makeup to thick products. If I've got anything thin under my makeup, my makeup's not going to last. It's going to like roll off. I need something really thick as my base for it to like latch onto. I can't tell if the light's weird. I'm doing this on a new camera. If it is, I apologise. My primer, I just like this Ramel Lasting Finish one. It's never done me dirty. It's about that much. While my primer sinks in, I then go in and do my brows. My all time favourite brow pencil kind of a pencil is the art rerun by soap and glory which i love so much that everything literally that had writing all over it and it's it's all gone i also have this arch d i keep dropping stuff i'm sorry arch d triumph brow pencil it's also a highlighter but i don't really use pencil highlighter which you can tell by the size difference this is also soap and glory I'm gonna go in with this Archery Brow Pencil and Tint Enhancing Crayon. This is too light for me though, that's why I don't use this initially. I do like it a lot, but it was perfect for when I bleached my brows and had blonde, but now not so perfect. With this number seven brow kit, I'm just gonna round them off a little bit, round the bottom, just to make them a little bit more sleek. For foundation, I just go in with this Ramel Matching Perfection. It's only like a tenner a bottle. Most of my makeup isn't that expensive. I don't like spending a lot of money on myself, and I think if I can find cheap ones that, oops, cheap ones that do the job, I'm gonna. That was just a concealer. It doesn't really matter which because we're gonna cover it up with eyeshadow anyway. I used to go in with an eye primer and I swear I don't think it makes a difference. This is a tippy that I sometimes do. You can see how much darker the concealer is to my skin. So if I just go in with that on my eyelids and do the rest of my makeup, it looks a little bit like you've got like a darker smoky eye. That's good. With no effort. I desperately need to clean my eyeshadow brushes for like all dirty. I don't even know what I'm going to use today. The Kaleidoscopic Dreams palette is my favourite eyeshadow palette. Let's go in with a tiny bit of a lava, like an orangey colour. I have no idea by the way what I'm going to do with my eye makeup today. I just felt like doing eye makeup. Just to sit in my house, I'm doing nothing. Doing a makeup video, let's make it a little bit interesting. This by the way is the Real Techniques brush. It is 308. Now going in with a bit of Wyvo, which is like a fruit punch pink colour. Something sharp in there, stabbing me in the eye. My favourite brushes are the Real Techniques brushes. Their blender brushes are amazing, but I'm just going to use what I've cleaned today because they're all really dirty. I don't know if you guys can hear that rain, but it is like hammering down outside. I'm like a bit like a clown right now. Let's move on. I don't know what's going on with this light. I'm gonna go in with false lashes. At this point, I normally don't use false lashes. I like never use false lashes anymore. But if we're going extra today, we're going extra and I can't get this lid off at all. Whenever I do eye makeup, I need false lashes because I've got hooded eyes. They just get swallowed up, so I always raise my eyebrows and wear lashes, and it seems to help the problem. Oh, I finally got in and it's 
dried up that's great that is so after you've applied some glue to your lash you're gonna wait a minute so that it kind of goes gunky and that's when you apply it it, they last so much better and it's so much easier to get them onto your lashes but normally i would not do this i can't believe i'm doing this i'd normally go in and curl my lashes and then use mascara holding this for 10 seconds Now going in with foundation on the rest of my face, I don't actually use concealer. I've never found one that suits my skin, so if you have any recommendations, please, please let me know. Also, I go in with small amounts of foundation and just sort of build. It's so much better to go in with little amounts and add more rather than too much, and it's too much and there's nothing you can do. I need to buy a new foundation, it's running out. It's not helped by the fact that I do sometimes like today to do my makeup for absolutely no reason. I suppose there's a reason. The reason is you guys. I tend not to like heavy makeup, especially on my face. So I think that's actually enough. Just enough to like smooth over my skin. I like my makeup to still look like skin where possible. I'm going in now with probably my favourite brush. This is Real Technique. And I don't know what number because it's worn off. But I have it two times over in two different kits. It is Real Technique 200. Just a buffer brush. It really helps your foundation to look more like skin, especially if you don't use too much. I can't actually get over how pale I look right now. The foundation I used was shade Ivory. It might be slightly too light for me currently because I did go on holiday a month ago. It's either that or like way too dark. I don't have an in-between. You see what I mean? It just looks more... It doesn't look as glassy. It just look, looks more like skin. I'll be it. Pay your last skin right now. For powder, I'm going to go in first with this. Bacon Blot by Revolution in Banana Light. There's not much left. Second favourite brush ever is this. And I got it in this great big makeup kit of brushes. It's by Rio. Honestly, the powder goes on so evenly and flawlessly with this brush. So I don't think I should not put on my lashes yet. I've not worn them in a while, so I forgot how difficult it is to do makeup with like heavy lashes on. Now I'm going to use the Benefit Hula Bronzer. I don't use a little brush. I use this brush, which is out of that same kit as the powder brush. Again, I go in with a little and build. Sometimes if I am really pale, I will use this instead of contour because it's so natural and seamless looking, but it really does the job. I feel like you can see the difference. This has got no shape. This does. And it's making me look less pale, which is good. I'm not too precise about my nose contour. Honestly, I just like my nose to look a little bit darker, so I just do two lines down and one at the bottom, that's it. And as you go like that, there's like a clear line, I like to go just above it. Just above it. This really helps with shape and like lifts up your cheekbones, you know? When I do go in with contour, I just have Alex by Revolution. It tends to be the one in this that I use the most. So it's like the lighter brown colour. You can see which ones are emptiest. Massively, I, I use the light brown colour because I hate it when my contour looks too dark. It just like looks like it's heavy makeup. I hate that. I like it to always look really light. Almost fluffy, if that makes sense. And you can see there's not much powder on the brush. I also prefer to tap it on like in little ones rather than stroke. I do that after. I'm not really sure, I just think it makes it go on better. Because then if it is too heavy, you see it and you move it rather than doing one big stroke and be like, oh shit. I actually think that is enough contour for today in the interest of keeping my makeup quite light. But sometimes I will go in with like a white shade and like 
thick. The highlighter I really like this one by Nip and Fab. I also have this one by Sleek and I sort of love them both equally. But it's not gone, I just dropped it and it all fell out. But I love this shade by the Sleek one and then I love the middle one in the Nip and Fab. And the Nip and Fab palette is called You OK Hun. I'm gonna today go in with the Sleek makeup. Just because I've not used this one in a little while, I've been using Nip and Fab now. This brush is Real Techniques Setting Brush. It is 402 and I just place it on the bottom of my nose. I tried out last winter Cold Girl Makeup and you only put it there and a little bit here, but then I tried just here and I loved it. I've never come back since. I think it makes it stand out more rather than like your whole nose. The bit I really try and illuminate with the highlighter is here. I know that I used to do it here, I just want this to shine out, but now I like it being here. Also going in, this is just a cheap brush, same colour, middle of my eyes and under my brows. I feel like highlights make such a difference on the face. I feel like you can see what I mean about my nose, it stands out in a good way. Also now I'm just going to take the highlighter brush, not put any new powder on and just go like this. Now we're going to go in with lipstick. This one is by MAC. It's the Rouge Matte Lipstick. Oh, one thing that I do which is wrong. I don't outline my lips. I just use lipstick. I felt like I always overlined when I used lip liners and I didn't like it, so... I just thought I'd do it with the lipstick now. Setting spray. And then also, I don't just do mascara on my lower lashes. And I think that's it. I think my makeup's done. I can't think of anything I forgot. This is just a cheap mascara again, it's by Maybelline and it's Great Lash. I have MAC mascaras normally, but I don't use them on my bottom lashes because I don't see the point. Both of my usual preferred mascaras are MAC. This one is Magic Extension, this one is MAC Stack. These are the best mascaras in the world. Just now I'm going to take my hair out of its heatless curler. Fingers crossed this looks good. So this is it. My makeup routine. The Heatless Curler works so good. I mean, look at this. My hair looks great. It looks like I've just styled it. So that's, that's good. I really hope you enjoyed the video and let me know if you did, let me know if you have any product recommendations or any tips at all, please let me know in the description, let me know in the comments down below, I would really appreciate it and I really hope you enjoyed the video and that's it from me, I will see you very soon in a brand new video, I love you so much and I will see you in the next one, bye! <laughs>